I'm Tara Lynn Wagner. Thirsty for change, Mark DeMassimo and Eric Yaverbaum decided to fight global warming one liter at a time. This country buys 28 billion bottles of bottled water a year. We use 17 and a half million barrels of oil to make those 28 billion bottles. Just to put that in perspective for you, that's enough to fuel one million automobiles for an entire year. It's two and a half tons of carbon dioxide into the air. The two created Tappening.com to promote the earth-friendly benefits of tap water. Along the way, they sold 400,000 reusable bottles, grossing six million dollars. In a way, they capitalized on the eco-crisis, and they're perfectly okay with that. Okay, it's the best combination there is. You actually can make an impact, an environmental impact with really simple changes and you can make money doing it. Going green to make green is hardly a new formula. Thousands of companies have begun shading their advertising with this effective marketing tool. But buyer beware, green can be only labeled deep, meaning consumers need to scratch below the surface. There are companies that have very uh, energy efficient or environmentally um, improved buildings and factories, but they're making hummers in those factories. You know, you want to say what is the real impact of the company as a whole. Author Steve Strauss says green consumption is more than a trend. He believes customers will reward businesses that take even small steps toward having a smaller impact on the environment. There are consumers who actually will make their purchasing choices based on whether you have a, you are a green company or not. There's absolutely a whole ethic about it that people will, will reward you for that. Meanwhile, more and more companies are churning out new eco products in the hopes of mining some of this green gold. They respond to customers when customers want to stay looking young. They respond to customers when customers want expensive cars that pollute. So all the better when they respond to customers who want the world to be a greener place. But if money is the motivator, does that undermine the message? Tappening put it to a vote and the results were split down the middle. Again, they're perfectly okay with that. So are you greedy entrepreneurs or selfless environmentalists? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. For Money Matters, Tara Lynn Wagner, New York One.